Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Manx Mod. We are going to Char, and that means that life is going to be pretty, pretty rough, potentially. Uh, we're going to Gates of Hell. This is one of those missions where we just don't have a whole lot of resources to work with, and this is definitely top three hardest missions in Nightmare. So I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how it goes here. There's a lot of enemy aggression. It comes from a lot of different angles. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna largely just have to work with what we get. Let's see. Ooh, we got two gas. Okay, uh, this, I see how they have made it easier. They gave us a lot of stuff. <laughs> that is, that is the monies. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be feeling good. Put you in here. Oh, it's got a flamethrower guy, yeah. These flamethrowers are so expensive, guys. <laughs> Let's go over here, try to get this money, and then see what we can do. Keep getting workers, and of course a flamethrower for you. I know it's expensive, but your brother on the other side got one, so you get one too. Okay. Oh, look, they uh, changed how the sandbags work, so we can't get out. That's cool. I guess we're gonna sell this! <laughs> but they put the tank up there. That's actually a great position to have that tank. <laughs> I find it very funny that that's been uh, changed. Oh, hello, Ultralisk. Here, let's just uh, do that and then target this guy down. So we don't have any, like, long term. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, oh. Well, I told you this mission wasn't easy. Oh, my gosh, they're healing. Oh. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, they heal a lot. Okay, um... Everything is 3-3. Three, three. So, what I would say... Uh, my first encounter with the Zerg here is that... This mission is hard in a way that I didn't expect. <laughs> also, the sandbag thing's a bit weird. And don't use the dogs of war because it pulls, <laughs> it pulls death. Oh, okay, let's try again. <laughs> we haven't reset in a long time in this mod. Uh, well, I mean, char is char. We're going to have to treat it with a lot of respect because, oh, what a mission this has turned out to be already. Uh, sorry, we cannot afford to get you a flamethrower early on, sir. It's just not in the budget. Get this and that. Okay. Big turtle energy. You hear? You hear? I'm like really scared now. <laughs> I can't believe how ridiculously aggressive they were at the beginning. Okay. I mean, I guess it wasn't really aggressive. It was more how ridiculously fast and how many guys got pulled by that uh, Dogs of War. Fortunately, we do have that plus one attack upgrade, so we're kind of making stuff happen, but I don't... We need to go on, like, a secret agent raid with, like, one guy <laughs> in order to rescue us. The tank pulls them, so we just need to, we need to be stealth. I am sneak. Oh! Ah! Ah! Don't you have somebody else for this? Yay! Raiders, Raiders. We sure Save them. Cool. You, okay, let's get back home. Where's General Warfield? I'm assuming command here. Oh. Uh? You've been falling with us, and we'll see to find your general. Yeah. I so love Hey Kerrigan. Kindle their hope, Jim. We don't have a Kindle. By all means, We're not reading. Bring them all to my doorstep. One, two. It'll be like there we go. We got a couple gun guys there. Oh my goodness, we are getting busted. Can we talk about the fact that they have all the Heart of the Swarm upgrades, it seems? Like, <laughs> that is that is a bit insane. Okay, we're going to we need an armory for siege tanks. We need a star portery for stuff. We definitely need tanks. We definitely need a couple Thors just to hold the enemy off. 
Oh, gosh, another drop pod. I mean, is it even worth it? This way. Thank you. There, I think that that is a good way to use this. We just got to keep these at home. <laughs> They're just not that good. Okay, now we can go over here and grab all of these. Come on back, and we'll be okay. Uh oh. Yeah, I got everything. Oh my goodness, this area got busted again. I don't like this supply bunker. Uh, tank. Oh, everything is getting busted, huh? We gotta get the shield upgrade. Over here, drop this. Get the fusion core. My goodness. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if people said that this was one of the missions where there's a difficulty spike, but I sure don't remember what people said at the beginning. I definitely uh, think that this is the hardest one so far. <laughs> Just based off of the early game levels of aggression. Okay, get you in here. We're going to have to pull these over, but that's okay. We're going to get our levels eventually. No, medic! Oh, let's see, we got an engineering bay. We definitely need attack upgrades here. Just keep dropping friends. Come on over. All right, we're looking pretty good with these Aegis Guards, actually. They are maybe what we need on this mission. Get them XP, get the Field Response Team Theta's XP, and see if they can keep us uh, keep us in it while the tanks do the defending with the infantry. Because they're so durable, that's the important thing. We need to get a Royal Academy in order to royally not die. And then we definitely need at least one Earth Splitter. When do I get a medal? And then, hey, these guys are actually pretty good. Get this factory back to the landing zone and get it building. I always find it funny that you get factories and starports in this mission, but it takes so long. This is like, what are you gonna do? Oh gosh. Yeah, we're just not there yet. Um, what were we getting? Ah, uh, Thor. Thor. Yeah, Thor deals with the air units. That's what we need. I can get a lot for this gun. Yeah, you guys over here. Just keep dropping these. Upgrade. We got the shield upgrade. That's great. I would like to... I don't even know. I think transformation speed will be useful in the long term. Get it right here. And then we'll... No, no, no. We want the bulwark right now. Just make it so all my defensive stuff takes less damage. That seems really nice. Sir, another drop pod is coming down near your location. I think we want to see if we can use these once again to grab it, just so we can get as much XP on them and not on the other guys. That's a lot of mutas, though, so I don't think that's going to work. We need another medic or two. Yeah, there we go. Level two. Try to get him level three. Get a couple repair guys over here, and... We do have to wait on that medic, I think. <laughs> You go this way, and then we're going to activate that thing. Thor is here. Thor is sieged up. We're going to have to get XP on him, though, and yeah, unfortunately... Oh, that's a lot of Broodlords. <laughs> that's a heck of a lot of Broodlords. Let's just work on Aegis Guard upgrades and then the Medic upgrades, because I think this is going to be an infantry game. Get him, Menx. Or, you're not Manx, you're Warfield. Maybe he'll get up to level 2 here. Okay. So let's, uh... We should mobilize everything we've got and try to break through to Warfield. I mean... Yeah, that's a lot of HP. <laughs> that's a lot, a lot of HP. Or a company out... Yeah, no, we don't really need any of these upgrades at this point. We'll get the upgrades for the troopers. Just keep dropping the troopers in good places. These over here, and 
sir. Move out with these guys? There's a lot of corruptors. Not sure what they're gonna do. I think we're actually gonna take this fight really well. Because it's uh Aegis Guards versus Ultras, and Aegis Guards are built to beat Ultras. Okay, we do need a little bit of tanking help there. They're not quite level three yet. And what I want to start doing is building some Emperor Shadows. I think they're going to be very good here. Wait, where's my Starport? It's just Imperial Witness. Yeah, we definitely need the anti-air from the uh, Emperor's Shadow. I think that'll be really nice. We do technically have the global range that we could use for their missiles, but the missiles do like such a little amount of damage, I don't think it's worth the obscene investment that would take. We'll get the field response team thing, and it costs 500 gas! Oh jeez, that's more expensive than I thought. Oh, hello. Um, we don't really have good anti-air there yet. We can drop a dude right here. There we go. We're safe. Emperor Shadow, we're going to set the Immolation onto Autocast. I think that having a bunch of them is probably really bad with the Autocast, but one is probably, or one or two is probably really good. And then let's just keep clearing things, trying to get XP for this Elite Squadron that is going to hit level 3 eventually. Oh, he went back there! Uh, heal. That was good. Let's head over here. Maybe we want to go Marines next. Ah, we're going to get another Medic next, actually. One level 3 Medic is very nice to have, though. Very happy with that. Do they just... Like, instantly kill these things because they have bases just chilling where the stuff goes? Because that's a bit weird. That's not how it works in Nightmare. The base Nightmare. Oh gosh, we do so much damage now to these armored units. So her snipe is very cheap. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage though. Turn immolation on. Let's throw all these nerds. Die to broodlords. Uh, just do that. Okay, we got our third medic. And now we're going to start building some starport guys, Vikings, over here. Hey, Aegis Guard's level three. Sir, I read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I'll do what I can, Matthew. We'll have enough time to rescue them all. Not with this much Zerg in the area. We're gonna go this way. We'll rescue as many as we are behind. Big tanks in the front. Big blast in the back. Medics are doing good. Yeah, I don't like this hatchery thing. They just put hatcheries on top of it, and you just have to know. <laughs> and you have to have it, like, pre-cleared out. That seems very weird. Maybe I'm the only one who feels that way, but I, I'm not a big fan of the idea. All right, let's try to get another Thor deployed here. How much are they? 640. And we're going to start working on clearing areas out, I guess. If I could vision this, just drop the nukes. Level 3, level 3, level 3. Oh, goodness, no. That is so many mutas. Where's the... Uh, I wish I could activate cloak manually. Well, that sucks. We just lost a lot right there. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There's just so many units. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, here, upgrade you with anti-air. Take it down. Good. I wish this Thor was the higher level. <laughs> oh, yep, this we're out of money. Ah, uh, this, it drains you so quick. 
People keep telling me, great, you have infinite money with these, but, like, you don't. They're really slow. <laughs> They're not just instant and infinite. <laughs> and it's, uh, it is, like, technically infinite, but it's not practically infinite. All right. We could use that. Let's see. These over here were the Vikings. Bring the Vikings over. There's so many units right here. Okay. The Immolation Autocast. Cool, cool. There we go. We got a battle cruiser, and we can start moving to this base eventually. Not going to be a pretty movement, is it? The thing is, we have to pay attention to our bases here. If you run out of base, you run out of life on this mission. Okay, we're rebuilding the missile. One over here. Sounds like we're all are so decent, but we actually need money for them. Okay, my ghost lady is level three. Now she's very, very, very good, I believe. Where'd my command center go? Did it die? Oh, no. I wonder what killed it. Well, we're going to have to go then. We have no long-term sustainability. Let's grab everything and move it over to this base. And then we can sell some stuff to rebuild it, I guess. But we gotta get out of here. We're gonna have to sell everything? That's rough. Everyone come on over. Whoa! There, oh, there was a Brutalisk there. Okay. Sure. That explains how it died. Everybody come on. We're gonna have to siege up. Tank Siege, Shock Division Siege, Black Hammer Siege, that one's going to go right here, Factory Down, good defense, uh, let's grab this before it all becomes bad, got $400, where, oh where is some um, Builder Troopers, tab, 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 nope, wrong guys, tab, 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 tab. Okay, I don't have any. <laughs> Drop these. Back to work. There we go. Um, I feel safe-ish. Like, we can put these guys right here. We have our little guys to pop up. We're going to have money coming in. We have defenses. We're going to have to get a lot of repair guys over on this side. So just set that right here. We're finally able to strike back against these Broodlords. We have good upgrades, so we're actually like on parity with the opponent, which is nice because we weren't for a really long time. I, we're not on parity, okay, but we have plus three attack. They have 3-3. Uh, three, three. Got good upgrades here. All right, I think that this is the army that we want to start clearing with. We can do Dogs of War here, and then bust this front. Well, let's go in. I want to take the Battlecruiser, too. Yeah, he's really good. We'll see if we can get you guys over to repair. You building one of these. And we're losing the troopers. Oh my gosh, the Brutalisks are truly living up to their name. See if we can save up for something fancy. We drop some of these. Okay, that's all gone. Slow and steady progress. Uh, oh, hello. Should be a... Yeah, we can snipe that lurker. And then just using this is like fire support, which is great. Pride of Augustgrad's about to be level three, okay. And then 
Who else is level two that needs some stuff? Oh, you're level three. Congrats. Oh, we gotta build someone. Uh, get a Banshee, I guess. I was gonna get one of these, but I don't think it's uh, worth it at this point. Actually, what can we afford? We don't have an armory, so nothing. Oh, the Observer guy wouldn't have actually been that good here. <laughs> oh well. Oh my gosh, there's lurkers. A lot of lurkers. They're not bad, as long as we deal with them, but if we don't, then they get overwhelming very quick, right? Valius, Odin, Observer. I mean, we'll take the Dragon Siege Cannon, why not? Finish this, please. I want to... I didn't check how much damage the Siege Cannon actually does, so this would be a good time to check if it's actually worth it. Huh. Five. <laughs> Let's uh, test it on this, see how fast it kills it. That's, um... Not great. It takes a really long time to start firing, which is a bit problematic. Yeah, we're just scouting for the later stages of this campaign. Let's see how long it takes this 1,000, 1,000 guy to kill a hive. It's not terrible, but like, a couple marines would do better. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very neat. It is getting XP really fast though, which is cool. It does get the Pulse Cannon ability, which seems very good, eventually. Okay, Pulse Cannon. Oh, we still haven't killed it. Pulse Cannon has a two-minute cooldown. Okay, yeah. Uh, once we get the Pulse Cannon, definitely an incredibly powerful tool. Until then, like, look what he's doing right here. He just cannot target anything. He's having a really, really hard time. He hasn't fired his beam in a, quite a while. This is so much stuff. <laughs> I'm doing science over here, please stop. So it is for targeting specific things, but in big fights like this, uh, it doesn't do anything. And against big targets like this, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, uh, it's neat. I think part of it too is because it attacks so fast, it's really, really influenced by armor and that's never great, right? Like, if you fight an Ultralisk with it, then half of its damage is being reduced. It does have eight armor itself, though, so it'll never die. But yeah, I would say that the Dragon Siege Cannon, very cool. Probably the weakest of these. And I should be getting the Observator really quickly. For the remaining missions that I have it available, I'm going to try to remember to do that. Because I think the Observatory is very good. Uh, it wouldn't have necessarily been great on this mission specifically because we were going so bio-heavy early on. However, I feel like that worked out. Also, really not a fan of having the uh, drop pods instantly die because there's bases just on top of them and brutalists and stuff. That is so brutal. Like, it's still doable, but I do like rescuing the guys. <laughs> Anyway, that is going to be the end of the mission. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see Donnie Vermillion right now. For, oh, that's Kate. This is